about a year, year and a half ago, I did my top 30 greatest books. My graded books have increased so much since then, so I thought I would give an update and show my now updated top 30 graded books. Stick around if you want to know what they are. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today I wanted to do an update on my top 30 graded books. Now, if you haven't seen the original one, I will post the link in the description so you can check it out. And if you want to check that one out first so you could see how much um, of an improvement I've had since about a year and a half ago. You're more than welcome to check that out. I hope you do. But let's get into it, starting with the least and the ending with the best. So hopefully you'll stick around, maybe uh, get a little snack or eat some dinner while you watch this and enjoy the show. And of course, I always mention prices. So this is number 30, believe it or not. And this is Fantastic Four, issue number 52. This came out a graded 5.5 book. I got this um, graded just this year. Picked this up about a week before the Black Panther movie actually debuted. Uh, somebody sold this with a buy it now for, uh, what was it, Ninety about $99. But that was issue 52 and 53. So, um... I paid about $49 for this book, so I cannot complain. 5.5, amazing. All right, number two. This is, well, actually number 29. This is a book I just recently got graded, and this is Amazing Spider-Man number 129. This came back a 6.0. Uh, one of the things I highly recommend if you're going to get your books graded, regardless of what grading company you use, get your books slabbed because it's going to definitely increase the uh, grade and also get them dry cleaned because especially on the back of books, there's usually a lot of dirt because especially if the book has a white background, a lot of kids, you know, they read books, they didn't always wash their hands, and they would have dirt over time. So dry cleanings and pressings absolutely will help. I paid a grand total of $371.54. And this is one of the books that had the graders notes for the first time. And if you don't know about that, um, I was able to convince PGX for a $5 charge to be able to get graders notes on your books. So if you'd like that, check out that video where I did the unboxing. All right, this is another book I won this year. Absolutely love this book. This is Green Lantern, issue number one. This came back a 4.0. Now you can see there's some wrinkles here, but um, every time I send four books out to get graded, I always show them bef what they look like, you know, as I'm about to send them out. This was incredibly ripply. Somebody must have dropped some water or something on there, and it really had like a 3D effect. So the pressing dramatically decreased it. I mean, you could still see the lines, but I mean, it was literally you could put your finger over it and feel all the ripples. So it was definitely heavily damaged. So again, pressings and dry cleanings are absolutely going to help. Get them while you can. I paid a total of $405 for this book. Next up, another book that I just got recently. This is another one of the four books that has the graders notes on them. This is Daredevil issue number one. This came back a 2.0. Uh, st quick story about this book. I bought issue, it was sold on eBay a couple years ago. Um, it was issue one through six. Um, bought it for $600. And then when I got it, I always tell people to check the books. So I took it out of the bag. And on the back of the uh, comic and on a couple of pages, also included here, was this silver tape. And, I mean, I've never seen it. It was like this silver metallic tape. Now, luckily, the, the silver tape wasn't as sticky as normal tape. So it was easy to remove a lot of it. But on the back, I did have to tear a little bit off on the back. 
But you could see this is tape. This was a heavily loved book. But I sent a message to that eBay or, you know, I'm like, that's a very important thing that you missed out. How did you not know there was tape inside the book and tape on the back? And they actually admitted they never took it out of the, the uh, bag. So I, they said, would you, you know, accept a partial refund? And I said, no problem. So they actually gave me half the money back. So it came out to about $300 in change with shipping and handling. So issue one through six came out to about $54. So it was um, oh, actually $52. So, I mean, this could have came back a 0.5 and I would have been thrilled. But definitely a book to pick up if you can get it. All right, next up, I have two of these. One is still waiting to come back from being graded. This is a book I definitely recommend you get if you have the opportunity. Uh, this is Fantastic Four, issue number 48, which is the first appearance of Silver Surfer and the cameo appearance of Galactus. Uh, definitely books to acquire. Um, one of these I bought already graded, and an, one, the other one I bought raw and had graded. Uh, I paid three thirty six for this one, and this one I didn't write the price, so uh, probably about the same amount. I think three twenty five for that one, because I know I paid about three hundred twenty five for one of the books. So there you go. All right, this is another one that you saw in my last unboxing this is action comics issue number 252 this came back a 2.0 this also is one of the four books that has the greatest notes on the back uh, it had a little bit of an insect problem so whoever um, stored this book you know they must have left it without a bag and board or left the bag open who knows but luckily they caught it before the bugs got a chance to eat the whole thing so still overall presents really well. I think this book would have been a 5.0 if this wouldn't have been there. Because, I mean, it's flat. The cover looks great. But this is the first appearance of Supergirl, which we found out recently. Uh, she is going to have her own movie. So not only a TV show, but a movie. That book is going to definitely continue to go up. All right. Next up, this is a book that I've had for a while now. This is Amazing Spider-Man, issue number six. This is the highest grade Amazing Spider-Man, as far as the early ones are concerned, that I have. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Lizard. And luckily, as of now, I have issue one. It is coverless, but I'm fine with that. I have issue two, three, four, six, seven, nine, and... Um, so basically seven out of the ten of the first book. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, this is definitely going up in value. Uh, if they ever do the Sinister Six, you probably would be seeing the lizard in it. But we'll see what they do if they do it. Um, ooh, don't have the price tag. Um, I believe I paid uh, 350 for this, but I apologize. Usually I write the price, but I guess I forgot on that one. I have it written down somewhere. I'll have to find it. All right, the next one. I have two of these, definitely a book to get if you can get it, because this book will continue to rise. This is Captain Marvel issue number 17. This is the second print where there were only about 1,000 copies made. Uh, this is um, the first time it predates the all-new Marvel Now.1, and uh, it's the first cameo. Uh, his first cover of Kamala Khan. So this even uh, predates Miss Marvel number one. So both of these I bought raw. I paid about $40 for one and $60 in, in another. And then you add in about another $20, $25 for the cost of shipping and handling and getting them graded. Because I sent these both in the CGC back in 2015. And they both came back a 9.8. So definitely great books. So I paid a total of $88.88 for this one and $65 for this one. So if you can get your hands on this book, it's a pretty expensive book at this point. But uh, if you can grab it, get that. Because they're saying, they've had rumors saying that Kamala Khan will eventually be in the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. And if that happens, forget it. Those books are really going to go crazy. All right. Another book I got this year. 
Uh, this is actually my second copy. The other copy that I have is currently uh, at PGX waiting to be graded, so it should be coming back in the next week or so. Uh, this is Journey into Mystery, issue 85. Uh, this is the first appearance of Loki, uh, Heimdall, and a cameo appearance of Odin, and also the first appearance of Asgard. So there's a lot of significance. Plus, this is also the third appearance of uh, Thor, so early Thor appearance, definitely a book to get if you can get it. Who knows what's going to happen with Loki and the Infinity War. I haven't been watching anything on it because I don't want to know. But I paid a total of $572.67 for this book. This is roughly about an $800 book at this point. Always try my best to buy below cost of what other people are paying. All right, this is another one I lucked out with the timing. Uh, when you hear a rumor, you got to pounce on it within like 15 minutes of hearing the rumor because otherwise, especially nowadays, people are just going to throw them on eBay and sell them for 10 times what they're worth. But I got this just as I got the rumor. This is NYX issue number three, 9.8. Uh, I remember the eBay seller at the time was selling this for 400. I talked them down to $325 for this book. That included shipping and handling. And at the time they agreed. I didn't write, oh, yes, I did. I just, uh, it's harder to see. So I paid 325 with shipping and handling. This is like about a seven or $800 book at this point. Okay, next up, this is another one of those books I have a few copies of. This is a book I highly recommend to get. I sent this one in to get pressed and graded a couple of years ago. Giant Size X-Men, issue number one. This came back a PGX 6.5, off-white to white pages. Um, this has got a Chris Claremont story. It's the second full appearance of Wolverine. First appearance of the new X-Men, which is Storm. Nightcrawler, Colossus, who's been in the Deadpool movies. Uh, Thunderbird. Uh, definitely a great book to acquire if you can get it. Off-White to White Pages. Uh, I love the reds, how they really stand out. Because a lot of these books, that red will fade and almost look orange. So try and get a copy with the bright red you will tend to get a higher grade. And especially with the white background, this this gets dirty pretty easily. But as you can see, this is a pretty decent condition book. Um, I paid about 300 and tw no, 287 on this one. I didn't write it down, but I remember that one. About 287. All right, next up, my second copy of Action Comics, issue number 252 which, of course, is the first appearance of Supergirl. Uh, paid a little bit more on this one, but, um, again, pressing helped. This had a little bit of some, like, a rugged edge here. That's why it got the lower grade. Otherwise, it could have been higher. Uh, paid 596 which is still good. The 2.5 is about eight dollars $900. So definitely got my money's worth on it. Okay, next up. Another book, this is why I tell people, check the um, newly listed books. Because when I saw this, this I had to grab, because this in my mind was a steal. And you'll see the grade. So I bought it raw, got it graded, and with the pressing and dry cleaning, it came back a 7.0. And this book is absolutely gorgeous. As soon as I saw it, um, I snatched it up, and when you hear the price, you'll see that even like very expensive books can be purchased if you put in the effort for pretty cheap. So this was Tales of Suspense, issue number 52. That's the first appearance of the Black Widow. This came back with off-white to white pages. I paid $149 for this book. And 90, uh, I'm sorry, $159.99 after you include everything that I had with the shipping insurance and mailing and all that other stuff. So under $160 for a 7.0 Tales of Suspense 52. The blues and the reds and the yellows, I mean, it looks almost brand new. Uh, jumped on this as soon as I saw it. So check out the uh, newly listed. You'd be amazed at what some people will have as a buy it now. Okay, next up, have a couple of copies of this. This one I bought off of eBay. Uh, I have two of them that I bought, either two or three of them that I bought the day they came out. So I only spent a dollar on them. But uh, this was signed by Stan Lee. This is New Mutants 98 
Now there is a crack here. So because of that, the seller, you know, never told me that there was a little crack there. But it is the 9.8. It's the original book because you can see it hasn't been touched and it's definitely in perfect condition. So it's not like somebody switched it. Probably just got cracked in the mail. Uh, again, signed by Stan Lee. Came back at 9.8 with white pages. Uh, this is the direct edition, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, paid a total of $776 for this book. So not bad for a 9.8. And I think that's really going to keep going. Because especially if Marvel said they're going to keep doing the, the Deadpool movies, let's hope they do it justice. All right, this is one of my highest graded books. This one I got when I first started getting back into collecting about 2014. Uh, this is when I really didn't know what I was doing, but I bought this book. I had some extra money at that time. Um, it's debatable on what this is worth. This is, at, at the time, the most expensive comic I've purchased. But this is Civil War... Issue number one, this is the uh, Aspen variant cover. This was graded a 9.9, .9, so mint condition. Um, this is the death of the new warriors, quote-unquote. Uh, nothing really major, but it is signed by both Michael Turner and Stephen, uh, Steve McNiven. So I paid about $1,000 for this book back at the time. Now, this obviously was before the movie, so it's probably dropped a little bit. But this is still an iconic cover. I mean, especially when you have the Turner variant and he passed away a couple of years ago. And it being a 9.9, .9, I mean, there's only one higher. I think there's maybe two 10.0s and maybe three or four 9.9s. So, I mean, to get the dual signature, I'm definitely very happy with this book. But it was expensive, and that was after I talked him down on the price. All right, this is one of two copies of Hulk 181. I was really disappointed, not in the grade because that's not PGX's fault, but the person I bought it from, actually, uh, we talked on the phone a couple of times. They were telling me what a great deal it was. First of all, they said it was a 7.0. When I saw it with the dirt and everything, I was like, there's no way this is a 7.0, but he was only asking for $700 at the time, so even... Though I knew it was going to be below that 7.0, I knew it was still worth it for the money. And it came back um, a little bit restored. It has slight multiple tear seals. It does have the Marvel value stamp in it. And this book is really starting to increase in price. So even with all of that, I'm still going to make out ahead. Especially since this has so much more room to grow. I paid $802 when all was said and done. But that seller never disclosed to me that there were multiple tear seals. And I think he that person knew because he used to message me all the time. And when I met, asked him about that after I got it back, never heard from the person again. So unfortunately, I think that person was just being dishonest. But in the long run, I'm still going to make out ahead. All right. Next one is a book that got stolen from me years ago. It took me a while to get this one back because this is a very expensive book. This is definitely lower than the grade than the one I had that got stolen. But hey, something's better than nothing. Um, this is Avengers issue number four, which is the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. Now, they say there's another book that predates this, but that wasn't Steve Rogers. They kind of Marvel used to do a test run where they would have somebody pretend to be somebody to see if they really thought people would want them to come back. So that is not technically Steve Rogers. It's another character that used his costume. So this is the first Silver Age appearance. Uh, I sent this in to get graded, came back a 4.5. Very happy with that. You know, Jack Kirby cover, love classic Kirby art. That's what really got my attention to the Silver Age. I love these 12 cent issues with, you know, the, all the faces of the characters and everything. Just, you know, there's something about that, that time period. Paid $645 when all is said and done with the grading fees and the shipping fees. Still paid way under what it's worth. All right. Next one is another book. You know, P they, people say all the time PGX just purposely misses um, restored books and things like that. Well, for some reason, they don't miss them when I send them in. Uh, this is Incredible Hulk issue number two. This came back at 3.5. Um, and this really bothered me because... Um, I wasn't told this when I bought it, but the staples were replaced with non-vintage staples. 
So a lot of people have done that. It's a very sneaky thing where they'll take out the original staples because there's rust and they'll replace them with others. You know, that is restoration and that is being dishonest. So unfortunately, either the person that sold it to me didn't know or, you know, didn't want to tell me. But I still paid to get uh, a good price. They also wrote that the cover is held together with tape at the staples. So the staples, you know, they, they put the tape over maybe to try and cover it. Who knows? But this is first appearance of the Toad Men, big deal. But it is the second appearance of the Hulk, but the first time he was green in color. So still a significant issue. Um, it will go, it's going to be very challenging for me to ever find Incredible Hulk number one. That's a really expensive book, and I just, as of now, don't have that kind of money. So this might be the next best thing. I paid with shipping and handling and shipping uh, to send this out to get graded and everything, $600 even. So still not bad for this book. I think that still has plenty of potential, because especially since Hulk has been green pretty much ever since. A great book to have. Speaking of Restored, here's another book that came back Restored. So even though people say all the time that PGX just conveniently misses these things, you've now seen three or four books where they caught the actual restoration. And again, this is a book that the seller, they only told me that it might have some color touch. They didn't tell me all the other stuff. Uh, the cover was trimmed. Uh, there is the moderate color touch. Um, plate, uh, pieces were married. And page 16 is missing, but does not affect the story. Uh, that was all stuff that pe they didn't tell me about. So, you know, it is what it is. But still, I'm happy for the price I paid for it. It came back a 2.0 off-white pages. Um, with shipping and handling, grading fees and everything, I paid $755. Uh, you can see it does have some tape on it. But again, I'm not going to complain. I mean, I Avengers number one, very happy with it. I would have liked it to have not been restored, but hey, what are you going to do? Speaking of restoration, this is probably the only way I could afford this book. This is Fantastic Four, issue number one. Uh, this was graded by CGC. Uh, as you can see, purple label means it's restored. Uh, this is a facsimile front cover, but uh, the centerfold was reinforced. Um, like I said, the front cover is a co color copy. They put the wrong back cover but I guess because it's still a, a genuine back cover, they didn't see it as, you know, a cover reprint. So that's, I think, why they gave it a 0.5 and not an NG. So I guess the person tried to be dishonest and put the and ended up putting the wrong back. But hey, still, everything else inside is intact. This is the origin and first appearance of the Fantastic Four. Definitely a great book to have, especially now that they are going back to the Marvel Universe. But I paid such a... A low price for this. For me, it was a no-brainer. And because I love comics, I don't care that the, it was coverless. Because I can't afford the even a 0.5 of Fantastic Four. Because they want like four or 5000 for that book. I just don't have that kind of money. I paid $457. Including shipping and handling. So under $500 for a Fantastic Four issue number one. Even though it has a facsimile cover. I'm fine with that. And because most people don't like that, I didn't have to overspend on the book. All right, this is another one I got before the Disney Fox deal was ever announced. I think it was about a month beforehand. So I now got a steal for this book. And it shows, you know, don't always worry about what the price is today because you never know what tomorrow brings. And I'll show you the price I paid. And this book is worth about three times that now. This is Fantastic Four issue number two. This I bought on um, eBay. It was graded a 3.5. This is the first appearance of the Scrolls, second appearance of the Fantastic Four, the last time they are without their costumes because they get their costumes in issue number three. Love this cover, and of course, if you know about the Captain Marvel movie, they are going to be introducing the Scrolls, and uh, if they ever do some of the other events that involve the Scrolls, like, I don't know if it's Secret Wars, but there was another one. If you know it, put it in the comments section. But there's a whole thing where, um, I think it is Secret Wars, but I, I could be mistaken. But where a whole bunch of characters ended up being scrolls, And uh, that's going to be something they could do a movie about later on down the line. Now, like I said, I got this before the Disney film was announced. 
I paid $492.52 for this book. This is about a $1,200 book now. So it pays to sometimes take a chance on things even before those things are ever rumored. Now, this used to be either my number two or number three book. This has dropped a few, but still a very valuable book. Only dropped a few because I got some books that are actually even better than this. Uh, I have the complete series. Uh, this was bought raw, but it's signed by Tony Moore. Point four. Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened. I guess it ran out of time. So I don't know how much you missed, so I'm going to start this over. Um, this is Walking Dead. I bought this raw, signed by Tony Moore. Uh, this is PGX, came back 9.4 with an authenticated signature. I mean, I have a bunch of Tony Moore signatures, and I compare them, so it is legit. But I have the complete series. I think I bought, it was issue 1 through about 144, I believe, somewhere around there, uh, which included about 10 different variants, and also issue 7 was signed. Uh, for three thousand dollars, which included shipping, so I was very happy about that and uh, love this cover. Still love the show. It's disappointing that Rick Grimes is going to be leaving, but maybe they won't kill him off. Maybe they're. It's true that he's leaving, but maybe what they're not saying is maybe he just wants a year off or something. So maybe they'll have it where it seems like he could be dead or something like that and leaves it open. I hope that's the case because if he truly dies. Uh, the show will probably last another year. But the comic will still go on. Rick Grimes is still alive in the comic books. This is definitely a great book. So uh, if you average it out... I didn't write that. The thing got wrong. So 3000 divided by the amount of comics. Definitely got a good deal on it. All right. Next up. This is one that I got, again, good timing. Got it before the TV show was ever announced. This is Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 129, a little bit higher grade than the other one. This I bought already graded from eBay. This came back, well, it was a CGC 8.0, off-white pages. Of course, that's the first appearance of The Punisher. I only paid $547.95 for this book. This book has probably almost doubled since then, and... They're about to show, I think, at the end of this year, season two, because they already finished production of the, the show. So it's just a matter of time before they announce when it's going to be coming out. But it is coming out this year. So that's going to continue to make that book become more and more popular. I would love to see The Punisher in one of the Marvel movies. All right, next up, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left to go. So thank you for watching this long video. Uh, if you've watched so far... Show me how many fingers I'm showing up. All right. This is another book that I was I was telling people to get Edge of Spider-Verse for years. And uh, I bought this one raw back in 2014 or very early 2015. I spent about $96 on it. So this uh, was raw when I bought it, sent it to CGC. It came back at 9.8, which I was absolutely thrilled with. Uh, love this cover. This is a Greg Land cover. It's just with the colors. It's just beautiful. It just stands out. Now, of course, this is the 1 in 25 variant of the Edge of Spider-Verse 2. This is the first appearance of the new Spider-Woman, Gwen Stacy. So back then, they didn't even know that her name. They didn't call her uh, Spider-Gwen back then. So it was considered the new Spider-Woman when I got this graded. But um, with all the fees and everything, I paid $110. This is like an $800 book. So again, it's all about timing. And um, hopefully a bunch of people listened to me back then. At one point, this was my number one book. Um, as far as I know, there's only one more of these in existence. This is Batman issue number 100. This is graded CGC 7.0. This is one of the first books I bought when I came back into comic collecting back in around October of 2014. Uh, I paid about $2,000 for this book, which is a good price now. But here's the thing. Even though it's a 7.0, this is a double cover. So there's only one other that I'm aware of in existence. So as far as I'm aware, there are only two of these books, both graded a 7.0, with a double cover. So the first cover is a 5.5 and the interior cover is a 7.0. Now you may or may not know this, but if you ever have a, a comic with a double cover, 
they always base the grade on the inside cover, not the outside cover. So the good thing about that is the inside cover tends to be in much better condition because it's not as exposed to the elements or fingerprints like this one does. So that's how they grade them. Uh, this is an amazing book. I mean, issue number 100, it came out in 1956. So that is the beginning of the Silver Age. Uh, off-white to white pages. So a book from the late 50s to have off-white to white pages. Absolutely amazing for this anniversary issue. Double cover. Love this. If anybody wanted to do a trade for this book, um, I would consider it, but it would have to be something key because this now is about a $3,500 to $4,000 book, roughly. But the double cover makes it, you know, not many people can say they have it. Like I said, only one other. All right, this book, this was one I got recently. It's another one, like I say, wait for deals. You'd be amazed at what could pop up. Um, this is Daredevil issue number one. This came back a 6.0. Um, I believe this is one that also had the, uh, okay, no, they don't have the greatest notes on this one. But um, I paid a total of about $715 for this book. Uh, this was uh, raw when I bought it, sent it in to get graded. Uh, pressing definitely helped this book. This person said on eBay that this was about a good to very good. When I saw the images, I'm like, there's no way that this is a good or a very good. I knew it was going to be much higher than that. So when I saw it, I snatched it up. Definitely look at the new listed books to find steals. All right, so the last four. This is another one of those. It was a late night. This was purchased somewhere in Europe, somewhere in the Eastern Europe country. I forget, maybe it's Croatia or which country, but they were selling this. And they called it, and I'll show you, this is Showcase 22. This is the origin and first appearance of the Silver Age Green Lantern and the first appearance of Albin Sir and Carol Ferris. I don't know who those are. Gil Kane Art. But they listed this as Showcase 22. So if you typed in Showcase, this book would not come up. So I was, there was one bidder. And they just bid the minimum bid of what it was, $800. Uh, the auction closed around 4 o'clock in the morning. And if you guys know me, I am always up at that time. I made a bid and won for $810. This came back a 3.0, which is about a $23 to $2,500 book. And uh, if Green Lantern ends up getting a movie, even if they don't use Hal Jordan, this book is going to... It's going to get up there. So get this book while you can before they announce a movie. Okay, so my top three. This is one I took a chance on, and I got this as soon as I heard the rumors about uh, Disney acquiring Fox, even when people were worried that Comcast was going to come in, because I know a lot about business. The fact that Disney was giving less, but they were giving stock options was just that much more enticing for Fox, and that's why they ultimately accepted it. But this is Fantastic Four, issue number five. This is a must-have book if you can get it. Even a 0 0.5, I would recommend it. Uh, this I bought already graded from CGC on eBay. It's, as you can see, a 2.0 with off-white pages. First appearance of Doctor Doom. Uh, also his origin. I mean, this is the one of the villains. I mean, arguably one of the top three villains in the Marvel Universe which is now going to be coming back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, when that when he ends up in a movie, forget it. This book is going to be out of reach. Now, it shows because I paid, with shipping and handling, $1,100, which seems expensive. If you look this up now, it's about a 20... I think it's almost like up to $3,000 at this point. So it still has room to grow. So if you haven't had the chance to get this, get it because... Forget once they announce a movie where he's in it, it's it's done. It's gonna that's gonna be like a five six thousand dollar book. So you still have time. All right, two more to go. This is the other Hulk that I was talking about. This uh, is an eight point Now I was debating on if I want to get this pressed because I bought this one already graded. So the person who had this slabbed did not. It looks like they did not get it pressed. So there is a miswrap here, which doesn't really lower the grade, but if I can get that a little bit more even, 
even if it stays the same grade, it makes it look a little bit more desirable. But uh, this is Off-White to White Pages, first appearance of the Wolverine. Uh, first full appearance, like I said, not his first actual appearance. I iconic cover, this book has tr like doubled in price since I bought it. I paid, actually, I thought I paid more than this. I actually paid $1,563 for this book. This book is about a $3,000 book at this point and will continue to rise. So another book, like I said, get if you can. All right, this is my pride and joy. Uh, when I bought this, it had a little crack in the case, but that's okay. Um, as you can see here, it, it probably got damaged in shipping, but there was a crack here. One day I will get it re-slabbed. Um, it looks like a pressing would help because it does have a little bit of a concave. But this is my pride and joy. Uh, this is X-Men issue number one. I bought this already graded um, on eBay a couple of years ago. Creamed off-white pages. Of course, this is the origin and first appearance of the X-Men, which includes Professor X, Cyclops, uh, Iceman, Angel, Beast, and Marvel Girl, and also the first appearance of Magneto. So this, to me, is an incredible book. Uh, the reds in the X-Men look perfect. As you can see, it is a little bit faded, but, you know, that means somebody probably displayed it on their wall, and over time, you know, it got faded. But this is still, for a 3.0, I cannot complain, especially since the price has been really rising. I paid $2,062.69 for this book. It's roughly over 3000 at this point. Uh, I've only had it for about a year. This was right, right after I ended up shutting down my original channel, so the, everybody missed it at that time. I think I've shown this before uh, since then, but definitely an amazing book to get. So one of these days I will get this re-slabbed. Um, I'll get it pressed, and who knows, maybe I can get it to a 3.5 because there's a concave all down the edge here. So whoever had this graded did not get it pressed which means if I ever do take it out and get it pressed, uh, it's probably going to come back a 3.5, maybe a 4.0. That would be amazing because that would make it just go up about another $1,000. So that's why sometimes it pays to look at um, books that have already been slabbed because it might be an earlier book that people may not have thought about or may not known about pressings. And uh, you can actually get that book to be even higher in grade. So it's definitely worth taking the chance on. So that's it. That's my top 30 graded books. Um, maybe in another year, I'll be able to do this again and maybe even show even better books. So, you know, cross my fingers and hope that's the case. But hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you saw the other video so you could see the difference between what I had then and what I have now. Uh, it just shows when you put your passion into it, you put the effort into it, you'll find deals and you'll find some amazing books. So do what you love and have a great time with it. So if you appreciated this long video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next video. And boy, oh boy, the beast is running around with no shoes on. That's not going to go well with a person who controls metal. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. If you want to check out some of my We Love Comics merchandise and support the channel, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.